And I was trying to capture the key elements of that of that remix by Flume and um, like the, the structure uh, of it. And I'm going to show you a little bit how I did it. And first I'm going to play a little part. <laughs> So that's basically how it sounds and uh, you notice that there are no vocals n nothing of those uh, yeah high vocals um, but um i have three groups over here um drums i have uh, brasses i have strings and i also have a uh, bass track over there um i'm going to um, i think i'm going to start showing you a little bit how the drumming is coming along and um then I'm going to uh, yeah, show you everything else. It all starts with a with a kick. The kick is um, a basic uh, breakbeat kick. It comes on the first and on the uh, second and the fourth and the third hit. And nothing special about that. Actually, it sounds like this. Yeah, try try to make it a little more punchy than than I did. That should be fine. Uh, key element uh, number two is the snare sound. Uh, it comes on the second and the fourth. Um, add a little bit of reverb and you know, make it uh, punchy. Also noticed a uh, hi-hat, closed off hi-hat in there. Um, fourth is missing, see? Ch -ch -ch. And snap. Um, there's also a there's also a crash in in the original version and it, it uses every hit and um, I also noticed um, yeah a tom it, uh, it's quite interesting it gives a cool groove. Yeah, and um, a special effect is um, is this uh, crash looped um, in in thirty two notes. I think he did it like that. I don't know. It sounds a little bit like he did it like that. I'm going to show you quickly how this sounds. Um, yeah, and I did it uh, using a crash sound, like cutting off the starts a little bit, and then like looping it really quickly and giving it a little bit of uh, a delay. And I also use this Yia sample for this uh, other effect over here. Yeah, that's basically more or less what he was doing. And um, um, I'm going to add the bass sound now. It goes like do, 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 do. It's a bass uh, sound from the um, from the Ableton uh, operator, and now we are coming to the brass part. And I was using um, brasses um, for the main melodies, and um, I was I was trying to listen to the chords that he was using, and um, yeah, I think they go more more or less they go like this. Um, and, uh, you can see over here what is happening. <laughs> And I'm using the brass ensemble from from Ableton from Ableton Nine Pack. And since uh, one of them is not enough and doesn't have enough punch, I, I added um, a, another one, uh, just using the lower notes and, and giving them a little bit more of 
of a power to it and then I also use the trombones two trombones uh, that only carry the bass notes over here but like give that deeper deeper punch and the lower frequencies um, I also added a synth that is really optional that like uses plays the frequencies that weren't covered by the other by the other synths and that one is just like it if you play it alone it goes really it's, it's really boring maybe you shouldn't even do that and um, yeah and also for supporting it a little more there's some um, violins staccato violins playing over here they're using the same notes like uh, like the brasses up there <laughs> Added a little bit of uh, reverb to it, and um, yeah, that's basically uh, the main part uh, how we did it more or less. And of course, in the end, there's some fill kind of thing. It's not really; s it's just the kick is double uh, as often. <laughs> Tom over here is quite interesting, um, which uh, goes like it. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's those are the elements of the main part. And um, in the, in the beginning, I, I was using uh, violins, I'm also using uh, tremolo violins for the um, longer notes and um, some cello uh, notes down there. Sounds like this. It, it's more or less what he was, what, what Flume is doing in his version. <clears throat> so and in the in the break uh, in the bridge part, there I also noticed some some sort of roads uh, that were playing right after the the kicks go out, and um, I used some Ableton operator roads to to um, make that sound. I'm not entirely sure if he, if it goes exactly like that, but it sounds pretty much like it. Yeah, and then basically the whole thing repeats after that, and then we have a little bit of a riser effect over here. We have a, a, a clap uh, uh, on top of the. Uh, Kicks uh, playing every hit. Uh, well, there are no kicks over here, but um, like playing every hit and uh, a long, long bass notes supporting a little bit of the um, lower frequencies of the of the harmonies. And yeah, and then we have a drop, and it starts all over again. basically what I what I did um, it's it's not totally the same but it, it sounds quite similar and um, yeah I'm I'm going to provide you with the midis also maybe in the description of the video and then you can check it out yourself a little bit and play around have fun bye <laughs>